Hey guys, what is up? Beckbrojack here, bringing you my first Volts tutorial. Okay, so basically what we have here is a fully automated sorting machine. And uh, basically, I use the assembly line uh, mod from Volt to create this. So let's go more in detail. So I have the rejectors that automatically put any ore that you would like. I have the basic ores that go automatically into electric furnaces and then they are automatically taken out by the manipulators which require redstone current so I have this little baby over here and uh, I'll hover over it for a second so you can make it it just gives you like a little redstone current like this it just turns on and off so anyway what we have over here I have everything being sorted into chests and this is very helpful because like, if you want to sort your stuff really fast or if you want to put a whole bunch of ore in and automatically smelt it and have it put into a chest of your choice, then uh, this is what you need. It's a sorting machine. So, let me just show you that it works. Let me go in here and just put some basic items in. Now all these items should get sorted. Let's check it out. So we have all of the items that don't need to get smelted automatically going into their designated chest. And we have the items that do need to get smelted going into the furnaces and they're automatically coming out. And this leads right back onto the track where they will automatically get sorted into their designated chest. Alright, let's just let it finish up. Okay, so this one, I have tin, silver, gold, copper, and iron. As you can see, I've been testing, so I have all that in there. This one, I have basic building blocks. Voila, there it is. And this one, I have just some basic food. And voila, there it all is. And this is just miscellaneous. So basically, if you put something in there that isn't sorted, let's just say this thing called an imprint, which I'll get to later, it'll automatically go all the way through, and it should end up in this chest. Now, uh, I know you guys might be asking yourself this, why can't you use basic smelting factories or any other smelting factory? I am not sure. I've tried it. You can only use electric furnaces. I don't know the reasoning. So yeah, that's the only really downside. And uh, let's see if that imprint is in there. Yes it is. Anything miscellaneous will go in there. So basically, like you could have this on like a building. This could be like a little back room. I try to make it as compact as possible. And then you could have all this sorting stuff. So let me just show you how it works. Okay, so basically you're going to need to start with power. I just use these advanced solar panels just to get started. Let's make sure it's stay. Then I have the advanced battery box. Then you're going to need one of these things. This just uh, steps down the power. As it says right there, it's behind the chest. It says step down. It's a uh, 120 voltage, I believe. So it can go into these electric furnaces, which can only accept 120 volts. Now. Next, you, the drop box. You're going to need a chest, basically. You can have a double chest or whatever you want, but you're going to need to make one of these, as I showed earlier. It's just basically redstone. You can just basically just look it up online on how to do this. It's not quite difficult. And this manipulator needs a redstone current. Now, I'm not going to re really be doing recipes because with not enough items mod in that's included with volts, you could just basically look up the recipes. So, next we have this thing going all the way down these manipulators you can travel the redstone current under it's going over all of them and the other thing is you need to power these assembly line uh, thingamajiggies I don't know what they're called right now just call them thingamajiggies so but one trick that I did know that I did learn is that you only really need to power one see power will go all the way down here It'll kind of stop right here because I had uh, to power these electric furnaces. But then it just kind of keeps on going on. And as you can see, it's not getting powered. That's because the, tra like, the current travels through these so you could like save wire and things like that. So basically, you're going to need uh, rejectors. Now what rejectors do is you can um, put imprints into them, which I'll show in a minute. And uh, you can basically, they'll reject any item and they'll push it onto like the next uh, assembly line thingamajigger and then the manipulator it, this thing does not need a redstone current because it's accepting it 
and you have to make sure the arrow points to where you're going and to set it up with the electric furnace you're going to need it to look like so and then you're going to need it a manipulator to pull it out and you can hook it back up with your whole uh, assembly line sorting machine so let me get into imprints you're going to need one of these things this is called an imprinter right over here and basically how these things works is you're going to need to make yourself an imprint and then you're going to need an item so let's just say I want to use gold ore for example so I would just put this right there and I would have the imprint on the left and it would give me an imprint of gold so basically you can put these you just right click on uh, any of these projectors basically and then they will um, change it see if I hit on this it'll actually give me the one back that I already have and I can put this one in which will be gold ore so let me put in the one I have in let me see yep this one and there we go so now you're probably asking me how do you get more than one item it's actually not that hard so say I wanted to include iron ore into that I would put in the iron but I would use the same imprint as the gold and voila you have gold and iron and there you go it's actually not that hard so basically you drop it in it basically does everything for you it'll sort it out and basically at the end we have this thing where there's no rejector it'll automatically go onto here and put it in this chest which is miscellaneous box as I explained earlier and uh yeah basically that's really it in a nutshell uh, you can do much things with this you can expand it so much more I just decided just to cut it short just to show you guys for an example and uh, yeah just make sure everything's powered I was having trouble with that you have to make sure everything is powered and I just try to clean it up a little bit and this can all be hidden by walls in like a cool little room you create and yeah it's just basic tutorial on a uh, volt sorting machine alright guys see you later